Ty, we care a lot about you, obviously, you. and um, that's what matters most to us. And how are you doing? And <clears throat> it's a lot for a young man to shoulder, but uh, it's been a while, right? So how are you hanging in there? Yeah, I've been doing good. Thank you for asking, and um, definitely appreciate you guys. Um, uh, but we've been doing good. Uh, I'm doing a lot of stuff this week for, uh, sorry, for all this media stuff. So it's been fun to kind of uh, experience all that. I heard that there was a meeting at Joe Gibbs Racing and that your grandfather told everyone we've got to move forward. Everyone's mourning. And can you kind of summarize, like, how do you do that? Yeah, I, I, for right now, I'm not going to touch on any of the subject at all. So I'm just going to stick with all the, the racing questions and I will go from there. Well, we care about you and we're Thank glad you. you're here. Means a lot. You got it. You've got the new hardware on, on the finger there. Uh, <laughs> Looks good. I got it last night. Now we know your plans for next year. Mm -hmm. uh, so exciting stuff going on. Thank you. Yeah, definitely going to be fun. I got this last night. It, it fits pretty good. <laughs> I'm, uh, I got a little paranoid because it got tight on one finger, and I pulled it off, and it was, like, tight. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to leave it on and not touch it. So it's, I really enjoy it. It's cool. It's definitely uh, different. I've never had a ring before. Um, so it's, oh. it's definitely really cool. And you Exciting. hold the can. You hold the monster yeah. can. Yeah, it looks thing. good. The monster can still looks better than the ring now. <laughs> Exciting news now, though, that you'll be in the 54 Cup car. Uh, talk about you know getting that released and, and how optimistic you are for that. I'm very excited. It'll be you know awesome to be in the 54 uh, Camry, and we'll you know see what happens. I'm excited to take Chris Gale with me, and um, you know we'll be able to work hard from there. Since you're holding a monster can, can we assume that's going to be a sponsor? <laughs> Monster has uh, been with me the whole way, and I enjoy every part of them. And um, you know, Mitch Covington, David Gallen, Rodney Sachs—they're awesome. And um, you know, I'm, I've been very thankful to work with great people like them. How special is it to take the 54 to the Cup Series with them? Yeah, definitely really cool. I feel like you know, 54. I feel like some, it means a lot to me, um, and and it's uh, cool to take that up. How important was it the time that you got to race in the Cup Series this year? Could you just talk about that and how you expect that to, to be of a huge benefit, I would imagine? Yeah, definitely a huge benefit for sure. I'm very thankful to be putting that opportunity again. Thank you to um, Denny and Michael for you know the opportunity. It was really cool. Um, definitely a little nerve-wracking at Pocono to have no practice and show up. And uh, it was really cool, though. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, and hopefully I can make the best of you know this whole situation next year. How do you prepare for 2023 then, like coming out of? Xfinity champ, move it into a cup car. You're a studier, right? But what do you do? Yeah, for sure. I think studying is the biggest thing. And, um, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, the best thing we can do now, we can't go out and test anymore. Um, so, you know, sometimes what is very important to us. So I've been doing a lot of sim and, you know, I'm already practicing and already, you know, excited for next year and wanted to go do the best I can. And is there anything that you wanted this week as the champion? I know when I talked to you after you got it, I'm like, people are going to want to get to know you, and you told me about your dog and your hobbies. So you come here, and they sort of cater it to you. Is there something that you wanted to do or see here in Nashville? Um, I don't know. There's a lot of cool places to eat. I'm very, I love, you know, the Nashville food and everything. So great barbecue. I've got to go to some cool places, um, and I've been thankful to do that. Like you don't Good karaoke apple pies. or anything like that? Uh, no, I'm <laughs> staying inside. Have you tried like, some of the hot chicken yet? Yes, hot, really hot. <laughs> Where'd you have it? Um, we went. We had. Uh, I was at a Toyota last night, and they had a lot of hot fried chicken, Nashville chicken. So it was a little spicy for me. <laughs> I soak it down with some monster. What was it like to write the champion speech? Obviously, I know there's a lot of thank yous, so in that sense, it's easy. But so there's other things you want to get across. What was it like to write that? I mean, it was cool. It was. I enjoyed it all. I mean, it's uh, definitely different. I never really have done a, a big speech like this before, so I'm um, cool to kind of, you know, uh, put that together and, and, and go from go from there. You'll have Chris Gale with you next year, as you said. That's stability helps, but um, how important has he been to just have a veteran leader with you and to stay with you next year? You call him old. <laughs> veteran, veteran, veteran. Yeah, he's he's done a great job this year, and I've been very thankful to work with him and and my engineer as well. So um, I'm I'm you know very thankful to have a great you know situation to be put together. I've worked with a lot of great crew chiefs as well in the past, and I've been thankful for every one of them. And um, you know to have Chris move with me is awesome. I'm I'm thankful for that. And hopefully we can go do a great job next year. Did you get more comfortable in the next gen car over time? Yeah, I I feel like I definitely did, and um, it's just going from back and forth and. You know, double duty, and and there's a lot of a lot of stuff going on, and racing for a championship in one series. So it's a it's a lot, but I feel like I did really get comfortable with it, um, and and I'm I was thankful to have the experience again, and um, the work with 2311 was awesome. So, um, it was a it was a good good deal to get some good good time this year. When you were in the Cup car, what did you gain experience? What did you learn there that will benefit you 
in 2023? Um, just time and, and the race car, feeling everything out, the way the, you know, how the engine feels, how the car feels, you know, how the steering is, and how different the, you know, how different you drive the car is. So there, I learned a lot. Was there any part of you that thought maybe just don't come this week, just not? I uh, mean, no, I have to, I'm definitely coming here to collect my champions awards and, um, and I'm thankful for that. What do you think that you have to learn going into Cup now? I mean, you've dabbled in it and you're a very competent young driver, but what do you have to learn, do you think? Like, what do you know that you don't quite know? Or I mean, I guess that just comes out in experience. So just getting more time and more time. And I mean, studying can speed that process up, but at the same time, it's seat time in, in the real car, not in the simulator. That's going to make the differences. Mm -hmm. With how different the Xfinity car was to the Cup car, uh, this past season and, and is. Um, did you ever feel at a disadvantage almost sometimes to run both because of how different they were? Um, seat time, seat time? I think seat time, seat time, but I definitely think that there, there is, it's, it's definitely a hard transition. It's a light switch of a transition to go from one car to the other. Um, you know, so it's, uh, that was a little bit hard, you know, going from no skew to, to skew and then, you know, driving it so differently on a different tire, different size tires. So um, definitely was, it definitely was hard, but I was thankful for the whole process and I think it helped me the whole way. When was it? When or what? Oh, why? Uh, I just think that I enjoy the 54. I feel like it looks really great in the race car, and I feel like I've had great success with it. I don't, I don't believe in luck and t taking stuff and wearing different colored socks to races, but I just enjoy the, I just enjoy the number. Um, it was actually one of my first numbers, and when I was competing when I was younger as well. So um, I feel like it means something to me, but at the same time, I'm, I, I just, I just enjoy it. I just think it looks good, and it's like it's, it's a good-looking number. Who do you lean on? Who's the driver that you lean on, like, you know, as you come into the Cup Series? Is it like a Denny Hamlin? Um, I mean, I, I feel like all my teammates, even, you know, I've been talking to Tyler Reddick a good bit, and, and just a, a good bit of people. I, I've been thankful to be put around with, uh, you know, blessed with great people in, in my situation. So it's uh, cool to see that. And um, and I've got great teammates in Jugger's Racing as well. How important was it at Phoenix? You ran such a great race. Thank you. You answered a lot of questions, and you did, I mean, did that Thank feel you. like to you what it appeared to us, like just a, a, a good step, a good positive? Um, I yeah, I definitely was. I, I I definitely was. There's a lot a lot of other stuff going on, so I didn't take time to think. But I feel like it was a good race. I was more uh, happy for you know the fans, and I hope they enjoyed that race. I feel like it was a very t entertaining race as well, from especially from my seat, um, you know, racing and, and, and pulling slide jobs and, and whatsoever. But I feel like it was a it was a good good entertaining race, and I hope everybody enjoyed it. Well, it's going to be fun to cover you moving into Cup. Thank you. You're going to be a storyline. You're so young. Thank you. And uh, I think no matter you know what the scenario, people are going to be following it, right? Yeah, for sure. Definitely um, a lot more tension, and that's something to get used to for sure as well. So that's good and it's bad, but it's, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm happy to be driving a race car. And then there's us, cameras that's right. and all that, yeah. you know? Yeah, all the cool outfits going on here. Everybody looks good. <laughs> and your shoes. Now, what's the tag deal? I'm dying to find out. Well, that? Is that a hip thing? I don't know. That's what all of my uh, all of my friends. We're big. We love shoes so as well. And I got to drive with my, for Michael, and that was probably the coolest thing you know I've done in, in my career. Um, I'm, I, I love shoes. I'm, I'm a big basketball fan, so be able to have all this cool stuff. It was awesome, and especially to drive for the boss of all that. So it's cool. I don't know. It's a little fashion. Is that part of the style? Well, it's a part of the. It's a part of the. It's a part of the shoe, yeah, as well. Clearly Everybody's like, tell me to clip it off. Giving me the shoe. I know. I'm yeah. gonna be like. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a part. I don't know. I might cut it off. I think it, I just like no, these shoes I, are right. I like it. So it's bringing some fashion in NASCAR. Yeah. I thought you were being like mini pearl that you've been here in Nashville, but I always wear the tag. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I got my ring on now, so I got to wear cool shoes. So. Yeah, thank yeah. You. yeah. I like it. Uh, yeah. Tony Hirschman. Awesome. I love Tony. He's been great, and, um, you know, and, and we've been working good together, so we'll see what the future holds. member coming in do you want to have you know do you want to put get your input in there into the company and because you will be the future um i definitely am working hard learn you know then learn a lot about you know how the business works as well it's my family's business and um you know and and so we're we've been taking care of that and there's a lot of great people and um, we have a lot of great spotters a lot of great drivers and a lot of great crew chiefs so you know, it's time to go and, and put it together and, and go do the best we can in 2023. So what will the rest of your day look like? And then, obviously, you know, you got to give the little 
talk, which you're not nervous about, right? No. Give a speech? No. Why should you be? Okay, and then you leave town, what, tomorrow? Um, yeah, we'll leave tomorrow or tonight, depending on what, you know, what we're going right. to do. But um, I'm, I'm excited to be here. Really cool to be in Nashville and um, to experience it. Um, like I said, it's, it's, uh, it's a cool place and um, definitely busy as all can be. We're happy to see you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Good to see you guys. Good to see you. We'll see. <laughs> You've never raced on dirt, right? No. Do you have any interest? I do for sure, but I mean, at the same time, it comes with a little bit of risk. So it just is. I don't. We don't really. I don't know. I don't know at all. But um, I, I love all types of racing. Like I've said many times before in interviews with you guys, I just I enjoy racing, and I'm a I'm a fan, and it's it's my hobby and my job, and I love it, and I like to drive all of it. And I've got I race, and I can go do all that stuff on as well. So it just makes it a little better. I'm clear yes. you about the meeting, the team meeting. I'm just were you were you there? I uh, like I said, I'm not going to speak about that this time. Thank you.